to another video just a quick one well i say a quick one it might not be with me rabbiting on but it's just meant to be a quick one today to uh show you what i'm going to do I'm running this one alongside another video i filmed um it was just while well, we've got the weather and obviously i've got the engine bay open and everything sort of out the way i thought i might as well get started on it now so the updated window version of the induction kit cover so while i've got the uh, oil drum resting on there to make sure that adheres properly under there previous video check it out uh, just giving a little update as to what i'm doing with this in a, another previous video i said i was going to do something with a, a little window on here so that's what we're going to do taking all this off and we've got it up on the bench and basically i've just cut out this this bit here ignore all the measurements i was uh, going through different ideas with it but yeah that's cut out got a piece of uh, plexiglass which has just got a cover on it so that will come off and it'll be nice and clear and scratch free and that will sit under there and give us a nice window into the um, air filter so what i'm going to do next is drill a couple of holes across here so that can uh, when it's underneath there obviously it'll bolt together and, uh, and then we're going to paint it. Okay, holes are drilled so now we can place that on there. I line it up from the back and uh, obviously mark out these holes, drill those through and then we can bolt it together. Um, it's going to look a bit weird at the moment because I do need a, a new piece of aluminium uh, or steel or something whatever uh, to obviously make it wrap around here because um, when I did this, I did it a bit too short. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get another piece and make it longer on the side so that it comes up and uh, you know, up there. It'll look better when it's done. Now I couldn't uh, couldn't show you how I was doing this um, before be when I did it because uh, I couldn't hold the camera and do it at the same time. But what I've done is if you put the I've put the plexiglass on the top side. And because it's see-through you can mark the underside uh, where all the holes are so then i can just drill through them and uh, it saves you trying to find the hole and you know potentially getting it wrong so if you want to try and do this yourself then there's there's a little tip for you there we go just like that all the holes line up now um what i've actually decided to do is i found a piece of uh alley that i had left over i want to actually make um a little template piece just to cover that up so it doesn't look so silly for now and uh, we'll paint it up as well at the same time as, as this piece there we go guys there's that uh, little strip i was saying about just try and make it look a little bit neater but again i'm going to get a whole new piece of alley and redo it anyway because uh, there's bits like this bit here that don't follow the um heat shield pattern very well because i uh i cut it wrong because i'm being silly so anyway it's gonna uh, as you can see i've scratched it all up um and obviously this piece they're not attached so we're uh, gonna get these bits sprayed up and um then we'll assemble it and take that uh film off the both sides of that so that's nice and clear put it on the car and i'll show you what it looks like there we go it's just had uh, three coats of uh glass black on it and we'll allow that to dry for a little bit and then this piece can go on Put him on there, put it all together and get it on the car. Okay, so this is now almost dried. It's, it's not uh, damp or anything like that now. It's nice and uh, smooth. So we can uh, start assembling this. And all I'm going to do is finally peel this off. I might be able to do that one handed. Oh, it's fraying a bit. Try and set the camera up and uh, show you what we're doing. I'm literally just peeling this. It's got two backing, uh, two bits of clear on it. You got that one, and then this one. It goes nice and clear, just like that. And we're gonna get figure out which way it goes. I can't remember. Now I've taken that off. Yeah, I can. Got one on that side. Goes on there. Like that. Just going to uh, put the bolts in the holes, put the other little piece on that of on the end, and uh, show what it looks like. So there we have it, lads, installed along with everything else. Now, definitely looks better glass black. 
silly of me to do it matte in the first place, but I was trying to match other plastics, and obviously, engine cover was uh, the same colour as the battery uh, top, battery top thing, and the fuse box cover. So that's probably why I did it like that in the first place. But looks all right. And like I said, don't crucify me in the comments for how this looks here, because it will be getting changed, and obviously it will flow flow nicely round properly. But it's just a, a little finishing piece really. And I probably will get some black hardware as well because silver looks a bit out of place, I think. But uh, there we have the engine bay, thus far anyway. I'm happy with it. I'll just uh, close the bonnet down now and see if you can uh, should be able to see that through the um, vent. Right guys, uh, I put the bonnet down and tried to uh, show you looking through the vent but just couldn't get the angle uh, with the light because someone's turned some back on so that's always good but it means I can't show you the uh, the plexiglass through the, the vent but you can see it it's, uh, looks a lot better so that's always good. Um, thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.